What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So we are heading on over to the Pit of Remembrance, but wanted to point this spot out real fast. Uh, we are right here. I just flew on over to check it out, and this Everden has a guaranteed egg for a red kezu. Uh, you know, came on over here, found that, and uh, I know the the red kezu was needed for a side quest in the town, so figured why not? Let me point that out, and then we'll fly on over. But yeah. Been flying all over the place, getting a couple chests. Uh, you know, we obviously found that that area um, back in the the starter zone that had all those variants. I actually haven't flown through the uh, tier two area. I kind of, well, no, I'll, I'll save it. I'll check it out later. Uh, but yeah, flew around the snowy region a bit, found a Legiana, bought it, beat it. Unfortunately, it didn't go back to where I wanted it to, so that never happened. But. Anyway, that's fine. Let's go to the Pit of Remembrance. I like that my Ratha has his wings now. Like, now that his wings are actually, like, out, and he can fly, is the whole, uh, is the Wings of Ruin, is that still a thing? Is it just like a power? Is it just power he unlocks? The energy wings still happen? Never stopped searching for answers about the pits. And then he came to Ruto to tell us of the coming danger. <laughs> hmm. Hello, Red. Hey, it's good to see you. Look at you all. You haven't changed a bit. I'm really starting to feel the years. Is all this true? They're not just regular fissures in the ground. These pits, they're everywhere too. I have to find the truth behind what's causing them. Ah, uh, the truth? Have you seen something in the pits? No, I haven't seen a thing, but I heard something. It was a monster's voice echoing from the depths. A monster's voice? Yes. Just hearing it, I knew. Ruin is coming to our world. As unbelievable as that sounds, it behooves us to investigate. So, we made our way here. think the truth to the pits is this noise? Yes. Oh, it is a voice. It certainly is. Did it say the beginning? It's a cry of new life. Gigante. It's a nerve gigante. <gasps> Bro, no. It's a big Rathalos, but it can't take on a Nergi. to be born. 
He fell into the pit. I mean, in theory, oh shit, and the Nergigante fell into the pit. Wrath of Chase after it. Couldn't he still be alive? This was his fate. Life is so fleeting, so fragile and precarious. Red may have been strong and skilled, but against the awesome power of nature, he was merely a man. He never stood a chance. You know, there's gotta be some All around, like things crazy just kept thing. Getting worse. But I heard that Guardian Ratha had survived and returned to Hekolo Island. I went there to see Red's old monster again. Then, of course, that's when I met you. Red never managed to find the truth of the pits. It's my purpose to finish what he started. But I can't do it alone. I'm going to need your help, and Rathas too. Thank you. Come on, we're buddies, right? Buddies help each other out. You don't need to worry. Buddies. You're right. Of course we're friends. Look. We'll find the truth together. Let's go. So I wonder, I mean, it seems like these events weren't that long ago. Because if that happened and then she came to our village when she found out Guardian Ratha was still alive, you know, like... I feel like there's a small chance, maybe, just maybe, Red is still alive? Light's not working for some reason here. It's definitely, we're going to see some crazy-ass Elder Dragon thing, kind of like, you know, uh, Ibushi and Narwa, or uh, what was the thing in GU? Narkonos? Nar Narkoros? Whatever its name was. We're going to see some shit like that, for sure. Wow, looks like a maniac monster was here and didn't hold back, huh? Yes. And the light's grown in intensity. Oh 
no. It's a pit of preposterous proportions! Yes. It swallowed the entire village. Trying to make a meal out of me? Hold on. You think I'm a conchu for you to chew on? Isn't that? Must have got me confused with a regular feline. I know that voice. Positively. Quantitious. Do you like his mentor? I also got the ability to instant kill enemies in lower fights. I can't do it here, obviously, but um, I found it while I was exploring. I ran into a Xamtrios, and I can... I don't know how we can worry about the this Korapeko. Crimson Korapeko. I can press a... Uh, basically, it's like R1 and L1, and it'll just instant kill any lower level monsters. Just make them easier to farm. Attack attacks, meet power attacks. Plum Dynamo Hermitar. Alright. Um, I think I need to break this head. This is actually really cool. I saw this earlier. Dymo Hermitar. You know what? I haven't tried Hammer Slammer. Pretty good. I feel like I should focus the Crimson Core Peco. Get that out, and then we'll worry about the crab. Okay, I need. Let's try this. I don't like that. Upgrade these. I got the black. Uh, Mono of those parts.
Oh, man. Sky high and dive. Let's try and break the body. Was I not full hearts before this happened? Bro, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The shame. The shame. Well, this gives me a chance to do some upgrading. To be fair, yeah, Ratha is a slower, or, uh, lower level than a lot of the other guys. Oh, hello. Thank you. I just got this too, the Thrash Sword, 62, not that good. 60, 52 compared to... Wait. Wait, what am I doing? I somehow gotten to compare 62, yeah, this is way better. And we are good, we're in fact over what we need by a bit. And... I am green Nargakuga materials and one Tigrex piece short. Well, we know where the green Nargakuga is, so we can max out our Tigrex Jawblade soon. Uh, this, I need another Puzzy off. Uh, what about our armor? Crimson Core Peko. Cool, cool, cool. I bought that to use as uh, Thank you. layered. I just haven't gotten around to it. switch to my thick boy but now that we have four hearts I should be fine I don't I don't like this didn't seem like a particularly difficult fight which hang on um, where was it? I got some other new stuff and ship gauge fills quite a lot faster and ship gauge fills up fast and ship gauge fills up quite a lot faster. Um, I also got this, which is really nice. Let's try. Kinship power. Kinship gauge fills up. Soul kinship. No, it's bonding and kinship. This is just kinship large. This is kinship medium. But it's going to help with the kinship skill damage too. So we'll see, because I feel like right now, like, I jump, I go, like, on, on using abilities, my kinship jumps, like, 30%, 60%, 90%, and then 100. 
which it could just go like 25, 50, 75, 100, and it would be basically the same thing. So anyway, we'll see. Let's try and beat this thing if we can't, then it just means your boy has to go farm for a bit. Break that head. I wonder if I could mess it up before I can summon something. It's like two head to heads and our, our meter's full already. So this thing is always going to show up. It's not going to matter. Alright, that's... Both parts of it have been broken. attack me. Um, Show in one hit. Okay, uh, this does not look good. Um, life powder. Uh, yeah, it's probably good because I'm gonna need it and he's gonna need it. Damn. That's okay. It's one heart. Yeah, yeah. 
it's hard fighting when you don't have a buddy around. Hit me with bubble beam? This Crimson Koropeko does not want to die. I need you to die. Damn, there we go. Alright, one's down. And now we can just relax. Deep in my kinship and heal my monster. You're waiting for us to make a move, are you? Well, let's find out how this works. That, not right. Claws next. He's gonna do some shit, so we can ship it here. Damn, 725. Your water beam has no chance! Broken, broken body. I guess it's time to pull this out. Maybe hammer, but we'll see. Indeed. Yeah, I think the necklace I have on now works perfectly fine, even with the the medium over the large, that we are still just... Like, we're, we are... God, how many? This is our fifth right on this battle? I have so much meter coming in. You about to die? Break that body. Boom! Triple. Everything you have is broken. Back to technical, so it's power tactic. Okay, guy. Oh, I, I just realized. Oh, I think it would burn, take more damage. Hang on. Big turn. Really? You're counterattacking that? Somebody in my party, man, trying to fight these monsters solo is no easy task. But I got the Crimson Core Peko part, so I can upgrade my armor. Phew! That was a close one! Ugh, color me impressed! Waltzing around with monsters? Positively claudacious stuff! 
<laughs> Who is this cat, dude? Sarge! Sarge! Meow de doo, partner! <laughs> Get you! Positively bodacious! I must be dreaming! <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth! With your antics, I'm surprised you're still alive! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? How do you know Naviru? Hmm? <laughs> Name's Orgo. The two of us go way back. He's my brother from another mother. What you call you? You're going by Naviru now? Navigating Naviru. Pretty cool, right? Sure is. Positively. Claudacious. And <laughs> for, um... And what? It's nothing. I mean, it's positively claudacious. <laughs> you bet it is. You bet it is. I owe you one. Why don't you drop by my place? They're like, uh, <laughs> should so you we live do around this? Here now? Yeah, lots changed. I haven't seen you in forever. There's so much I want to tell you. Do you mind uh, if we swing by Sarge's house? It's fine. Place is just past Pomor Garden. This place is pretty. Look at all the happy little herbivores. see what kind of monsters we have here real fast just just real fast just in and out just one quick dungeon I like this zone a lot very like fertile and alive and blooming is that a it's a pink royal loodroth think I've seen these before. That? I think it's the Royal Ludroth. And the Ludroth. Can I get away? Oh yeah. Your waddling ass ain't catching me. I gotta go after Green Nargakuga. Well, I am I am uh, losing track of time with just flying around and exploring and um, just give us this bit of remembrance. No, it didn't. All right, let's wrap up here. Uh, we're gonna talk to Orgo in the next part. 
and kind of get the lowdown on this area. Hey, look, another green Argakuga. Uh, but we'll continue this along in a little bit, and I'll see you all then.